Hello everybody. Uh, welcome to another class. We'll be continuing with the with the cards, and this time I got this keyboard for you, so that you can hear some sound and then you can relate to how the chord sounds, right? And by the way, this keyboard is more than 30 years old. This is one of the first keyboards which I played actually. All right. So now we finished major chords. Minor chords, augmented, diminished. Now we come to the sus two and the sus four. Okay. Just to go back, uh, just to make you, uh, just to see how the chord sounds. Now imagine you see a C major chord, right? So I take this keyboard here, right? Two black keys, three black keys, two black keys here. The C is into the left of the two black keys. The C. Why is it C A G? Because 4 and 3. Okay, so the C major chord will be C E and G. Okay, whereas C minor will be C C E flat and G. Okay, we'll skip the augmented and the diminished for now. Just so that we understand what is the sus2 chord, right? So just like we how we had a 4 and a 3 semitone and a 3 and a 4 semitone in a sus2 chord, sus is nothing but sus fended. Okay. So here the distance between the first and the second note is only two semitones in sus2. Okay. So if I say this is C major. This is C minor, so you say C sus 2, right? So the chords will be, the notes of the chord will be C, right? C, then you go two semitones up, it will be D, and then you go five semitones, all right? One, two, three, four, five. Did you follow? So you see the first note, okay? Then you go two semitones, one, two. The second note will be D, okay, and the third note will be five semitones from the second note. The second note will be D here. So one, two, three, four, five, G. All right. Okay. So if you notice, four plus three is seven. Three plus four is seven. Two plus five is seven. Five plus two is seven. So all these four chords have the have a common first and the last third note. The middle note is the one which actually gives you that difference in the sound, right? So if you see C chord, is like, this is the C major. Sounds a little sad. This is C sus two, right? If you, if you hear the sound. It, it kind of wants to end on some other chord, right? Okay, so that is C sus2 and if you go to C sus4 Okay, first note will be again C C note Then you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so That will be F and the third note will be two semitones from F, right? One and two, that is G. Okay, so this will be. Okay, so it will be. So this is C major chord, C sus2, C sus4. Okay, I will play. Uh, a common song which you would have heard, right? Okay. Now, if you can recollect, this is a song by Brian Adams, it is called the Summer of 69. Of course, it is played in the guitar, but I just wanted to impress upon you how different chords when you play it 
in a sequence sounds so nice, right? So what I was actually playing in this song was I was actually playing the D chord in all its variants. Okay. So first I did was D, right? So I played the D sus two, right? D, E, and A. Please calculate the distances. You will know it is D sus two, right? So that will be. Then it was D, F sharp, and A. Then D, G, and A. So basically, you go back and forth, right? So this was nothing but A, B, E, which was nothing but A sus two. Okay. Then you went to A, C sharp, and E. That was the A major chord. Then you went to A, D, and E. Okay, A sus four. Alright, so this was D chord. D sus two, D major, and D sus four. You get that? So we played six chords and it sounds so nice, right? Right? So you can freeze this board again and use it for your reference. So you can make all the suspended chords for all the other notes, like how I told you last time, and you can see the see how nicely it sounds. Okay. So just like I, how you have all the parallel notes, you can do the chord structure for all those run notes. Again, I keep repeating, this is something which will come to your rote memory, but you have to keep doing it every day, every now and then, keep exercising your brain, and then you will get this, uh, get the notes of each chord, and you can omit augmented and diminish for a moment, concentrate on these four chords, and you can enjoy playing it. Uh, we will learn how to actually play the keyboard, the, uh, how your finger position should be, but that will keep it for a later time. You, once you understand and once you hear the sound, and you can come to know that major sounds happy, minor sounds a little sad, and the suspended gives a little bit of a uh, incomplete feeling which actually ends on another chord. Okay, thank you for watching.